What is good everybody? My name is your boy Jay in the building. We is back again with another video. Now before we get this video started, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you guys share this video. I do want to say I appreciate y'all for the support. Appreciate y'all for coming through, you know, and watching these highlights. We are going to be putting out highlights all season long. So y'all make sure y'all come back for more of these highlights, man. Um, so this game preview that we're going to talk about right now. Um, West Florida versus FAMU. Now, let me just put this on record right now. FAMU, I'm putting FAMU on upset alert right now. FAMU is on upset alert. Let me tell you something, man. This West Florida team ain't nothing to look past over at all. At all. This team right here got some serious dogs on it. Uh, this team is a Division II powerhouse. This, this team is absolutely loaded with Division I transfers on it. Um, they, I think their starting quarterback was a uh, Juco first-team All-American. They got uh, receivers from Texas, from, from, from Texas Tech running back from North Dakota State and South Dakota State. Like, they have a bunch of Division One transfers on this team. And, yo, and the crazy thing about it is that this team ain't even 10 years old at all. Like, this team got started in 2016. So, 2016 was the first season ever for, for West Florida. I think outside of their first season, they've had a winning record ever since. And as a matter of fact, they won the national championship in their fourth season in 2019. Won the national championship. And then the past two years, they uh finished first in their conference. I think last year, they lost in the semifinals. They're, I think right now, they're ranked number three or four in the country. So, and FAMU is playing their first home game. Now, FAMU is on a 15-game winning streak. And this week, it ain't safe. And especially the way Jeremy Musa has been playing these first two weeks. Um, I don't know what's been going on with him these first two games. But this is not the same player I've seen last year. It's really not. And let me tell y'all something. FAMU last week had five turnovers. They threw three interceptions, and they fumbled the ball twice. And they still only lost by 14 points. Two of those interceptions was FAMU driving down the field. Two, like, like, two, like two of those three interceptions was FAMU driving down the field, and you just so happen to, to throw a, a bad pass, and it gets picked off. If it ain't for them, okay, did you fumble the ball twice? Cool. But if you don't throw those two interceptions, y'all beat that South Florida. Like, y'all beat them. If it wasn't for them interceptions, man, so y'all y'all doomed yourself with that because I believe y'all were a better team that if it wasn't for them turnovers. Like, y'all played well enough to win that game. Jeremy Musa threw y'all out the game, man. And let me tell y'all something with, you know, going back to Jackson State. If Jackson State scores on their last drive before they fumble, if they score on that last drive, that whole momentum of that entire game shifts because the way Jeremy Musa was throwing in that game, it was awful. I did not like how he was throwing that game, so... Jeremy Musa is going to have to show and prove this week because they're going up against a really good defense. Really, really good defense, man. West Florida is not a team to overlook at all. Conference or not. You know what I'm saying? So, look, you want to protect home field. Y'all are on a 15-game win, uh, 15 home game win streak. I think, and I think that's the second most in uh, FCS football. Currently, I think uh, I think Montana is like, 
their first with 20. Let me see. Uh, no, Montana State. I'm sorry. So Montana State is uh, got 20 wins, and FAMU has 15. So let me tell you something, man. Listen, I told you I wasn't going to be long winning with this. All I'm going to say is, FAMU, y'all have a dogfight on your hands, man. You can't take this team lightly at all because they will beat you if you overlook them. This is a really, really good West Florida team, and I would I would take them seriously. I would take them serious. So that's all I really got, man. So I hope FAMU shows up and they play well because everybody else has been playing, you know, have been playing pretty well, you know. But Jeremy Musa, you're going to have to show up this week. You're going to have to show up. So hopefully you do that, man.